I came up with these um, ideas um, of a video just because I mean I know that you guys can find lots of these blending materials in YouTube are way better than this video but this video um, has a key where um, I presume lots of beginners came to those videos in YouTube and they end up seeing this um, disaster of a nodes going on here and they just um, they got scared of by that and they just get off from the video so here I'm just trying to tell you like it's easier than you thought I mean there's a lot of ways to get in to get into these blending materials but I'll be just showing you guys like the most basic the most easiest um, way to understand the blending materials so I'm gonna delete the cube and I open the plane and let's just scale it to six because we will um, work on it right we're gonna work on it later so now we're gonna go to material preview and let's open a new material and I'm gonna split my screen open shade editor right and then press end you make sure that you um you have the not wrangler add-on so you can just control shift T and then you just need to uh, find the materials that you want to use for example I'll be using I'll be testing with the grass okay with grass here um, ground so this is color normal and roughness I guess that's enough so what we're gonna get is a grass material for this plane and I want to reduce the size of it and oh yeah and this is what you will get okay in the notes that's it like don't worry about it D don't get scared yet <laughs> and I'm just gonna go uh, go to edit mode right go to the face mode and split my screen again here and open the UV editor because I want just to scale it up so maybe I'll scale it up to four and you guys pretty much um, start to see the, the, the tiling is terrible but that's fine because we're gonna um, distort that with other materials what you need to do now is just mix these uh, mac material this set of material of another set of material for but for now I'll show you if you do a mix of a base color and a base color so I'll duplicate this um, this one and open a new material and let's say I want to do a rock water um, and I'll choose the base color because we're just gonna do mix of a base color okay we're not gonna go crazy here mix RGB and put here and color to the color 2 what you will get is that if you go if you put the FAC left it, it, it's just gonna be grass if you put it to right it's good it's gonna be the rocks right so you just need to find a black and white picture for example I'm just gonna use Musgrave texture what is Musgrave texture Musgrave texture is just something like this this is one of the one of the best materials that I found when it comes to blending materials it's like noise texture but I mean you know so to this you just need to put the heart in onto the FIC and um, what you will get is a mixture of a grass and rocks but of course you will see this thing is not like really pop up the rocks yet yeah, just because you need you need to control how dense it is with color ram put the color ram in between my scrape and the FIC here and if you put the white to the left you will see the rock is correct going really pop up now so now if I'm just gonna crank this detail up like that and put the dimension down to have a bit kind of nice variations and mixture here like you could see it's blending nicely and the tiling is kind of gone right so we just you what you just did now is just mix two base color and it's already looking good right but um, I just ignore what I'm doing here right now I just want to add a hue saturation to the grass color because I, I just want it to be more dark yeah something like that I want to increase this uh, normal map okay 
So that's that's it though. That's um that's pretty much it about blending materials. But what you just did, you just did a mix um base color and a base color. Hey, don't forget that you do have roughness map. You do have normal map. So you're gonna mix those two. I'll just do the normal map. For example, I'm gonna duplicate this one and put it here. And then this one is gonna be the normal map because I'm gonna mix with this grass normal map. And from this step, what you could do is you can actually um, uh, put mix these two together and have one normal map to control all of them together. Or you're gonna control of them individually, which is it would be more much better to me, I guess. So I'm just gonna duplicate this normal map and put the color to the color right, and put this to none color. If I get that, and then use mix RGB to it. Normal to the color two, and that's it. And the FAC. I hope you still remember what you need to connect is the mask grave texture. So you could see now the th um, the normal of the rock is more pop up. So that's just um, what's happening um, about the uh, well, blending materials here. So I'll just put here color to the FAC, and it's not gonna intersect the grass. See that grass is grass, rock is rock. Two of these are rocks, so these two doesn't have mapping so if you want to have a new control you just need to select this mesh right and then UV map you have this UV map and you just have to switch this to um, to shift S and input the UV map so you can just choose this grass it's gonna use the UV map and you're gonna copy these two um, shift D and then plus new in this UV map <coughs> sorry and then select the second one and connect this to for the rock one so you can control the rock uh, material like that yeah so with this if you select this UV map the first one and if you go to edit mode and if you scale down up it's just gonna affect the grass but if you're gonna go to the UV maps um, the second UV map if you go scale it down, scale it up, it's just gonna control the rock. But yeah, that's what I did. But for this one that I showed you at the beginning, this one is done by an add-on called um, Quick Texture. And this one, you literally mixture of this texture, what I just showed you, but without touching a shader editor you don't have you're not touching anything here with the quick texture add-on you're literally doing it um, in the viewport like this I hope you find this quite useful this is a pretty good scene for a horror movie <laughs>